There is a growing worldwide phenomena creating your own healthcare system. More and more people are exercising, taking care in what they eat and the products they use, reading more labels, monitoring their thoughts and emotions, cultivating healthier relationships with each other and trying to laugh and take more joy out of life. Welcome to Yang Shen, which is the art of nourishing your life with your host, Chris Wynn, brought to you by the Cloudwalker Foundation, because everyone deserves to learn how to heal. Won't you join us at the Cloudwalker Place, 703 17th Street, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960, or www.thecloudwalker.com, or call 772-217-2887. And now, your host, Chris Wynn. Welcome to Yang Shin. I'm your host, Chris Wynn, and today we're talking all about nutrition. I'm here with my first guest, Miss Susan Kiefer. How are you today? Very good. Thanks for having me. It is a pleasure. Um, I got a little excited when I heard that you were a master herbalist. What is exactly is a master herbalist? Um, a master herbalist typically requires three to five years of schooling. Um, I went to the School of Natural Healing in Utah, taught by Dr. Christopher and his son. Um, Dr. Christopher has passed, but he was one of the most famous master herbalists of all time. Wow. Decades and decades, yes. Very famous. Master. A master herbalist means that in my, what I wanted to do was um, know the plants as medicine as well as the Native Americans did. That was my goal. It's a lost art. Um, knowing what you can use for medicine in the natural plant world. That was why I, I intended to become a master herbalist and not just a regular herbalist, which is pretty much just one year of certification, I believe, or sometimes even less. Okay, something uh, you mentioned in there I heard. Um, elaborate a little bit more. What are our herbs' role in the world? Uh, like um, so, especially nowadays, but herbs are the original form of medicine that is how the native americans used to treat everything on this continent and oh, i'm not wow. going to you know speak of other countries every country has their own plants it's it's kind of like um how you would go for a local honey in your area that would stop local allergies because they're um, getting the honey from local pollen so mm -hmm. um plants in your own area are what are best suited to heal the conditions that you have versus Oftentimes, you know, people want to have something exotic or oriental or um, thinking it's better than just what's right here on the North American continent, okay. and it's it's a similar thing as honey. And do you have um, have a personal story or attachment to, um, to herbs, something that has helped you out? Uh, yes, that's um, quite a story. I'm slowly revealing it because it is very personal, but um, what I can tell you is about 20 years ago, I lost my immune system and I've had to completely rely on herbs as my, my immune system. They've completely replaced my immune system. So as a master herbalist, I make liquid concentrate tinctures in four ounce bottles like this, okay. or sometimes people have eight ounce bottles. Tinctures are more concentrated than just drinking a tea. It's an alcohol base versus tea, which is steeped in hot water. The hot water can only extract so much of the medicinal properties. Right. An alcohol base um, extracts a, a whole lot more, and if it's 100 proof alcohol, that's your top of the line. But recently, I've also been um, doing my own research with essential oils, which is 50 to 70 times more potent than even the dry herb. I mean, the concentrated tinctures are pretty good. But um, so I've been teaching classes on that um, in our local community, trying to. Um, give people options instead of just always running to the doctor for pharmaceuticals. You can first try to use natural um, plants. I even teach a wild edible walk um, every spring, every fall, okay. until plants kind of die down in the summer. But in the spring, they pop back up. In the fall, there's a whole different variety. Okay, you have we a have, book about, uh, about this, right? Yeah, we, uh, I've wrote a, written a book. Um, this is called um, Wild Edibles for Survival and First Aid, written by myself and my son, who recently became an Eagle Scout. So we have many years um, with the Boy Scouts. I'm trained at the highest level in the Boy Scouts. So we had to camp so often, you know, there's, there's not a lot to do but look around at the plants. That's right. one of the requirements for some of their merit badges, um, know the, you know, 10 native plants. I did try to get them to um, 
have a merit badge that would get into the wild edibles but unlike some other people who do a lot of wild edible talks and walks i also get into the medicinal properties of those plants and i recently been collecting a lot that we don't have on the east coast of florida sometimes they're only found on the west coast or a little northern um, I've planted them in my own property so that it, it makes it a lot more easier to give a walk. I have about 40 wild edible plants that I use for medicine. Wow. And it's, it's, a great, um, it's a great walk. We just did one uh, actually yesterday oh, yes. or two days ago, yeah. Oh, excellent. That's wonderful. Okay, and um, how do you go about determining which, um, which herbs someone would use? Like say somebody like myself walked in, I said, hey Sue, I need some herbs for this thing. How do you figure that out? Okay, so um, unlike a doctor who typically does treat symptoms initially, unless mm -hmm. they go for extensive testing, blood tests, um, EKGs, or, and so forth, I also am an iridologist. Um, an okay. iridologist is someone who usually, the, the, the best way to do it is with a special camera, which I own, which um, magnifies the iris. Iridology means the study of the iris of the eye. What? Um, my camera magnifies the iris 15 times, and I have a, a special screen that is it's about this big when you're looking at it. Um, in the yeah. eye, 28,000 nerve endings all end from all the different parts of the body um, in the iris. So a lot of times when an organ is starting to suffer, starting to get weaker, um, toxins have built up, it will affect the nerve supply that will be going to the eye, and, and that's how the eye starts to change. There's four layers in the eye, so when the very back layer is showing through, that's the darkest, blackest area, and that, that's an indicator of how deep the toxins have settled. Mm -hmm. You can see the pine pineal gland, the pituitary, the ovaries, the testes, the intestines are primary. They're central, centrally located. All this through the eyes? Yes, um, So, and you can see relationships. You can see why maybe your shoulder is hurting. It's not necessarily because of a shoulder injury, but maybe it's that section of the intestines that feeds the shoulder area. Um, the intestines have the nerve supply that goes out in a circular pattern. Um, in iridology, there's maps that, that show you where different organs are. And these were actually created by two different the, the story goes two different um, men were, um, one of them had a pet owl and the owl broke his leg. Mm -hmm. So because the owl's eyes were so large, he could clearly see the, the black line that had formed when the owl broke his leg. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so as the leg started to heal, the black line got shorter and shorter. So this is where he started to wonder, I wonder if people with other known conditions all have the same marking in the same area in the eye. And um, he, this person, um, Von Pesley, interviewed hundreds of people with the same known conditions repeatedly to, and mapped out where they all had the same markings. At the same oh, time, wow. another gentleman in Sweden was also doing the same thing and they didn't know each other and they came up with identical maps, which isn't to say that this is a new science. This was done in um, 3,000 years ago. They found hieroglyphics in Egypt showing these same things, but it wasn't, you know, a map wasn't officially created until about 200 years ago. Okay, a lot of interesting stuff, and where can we find out more about what you do? My email is probably the easiest way to get in touch with me. Um, my email is Susan, S-U-S-A-N, Kiefer, K-E-I-F-F, -F, as in Frank, E-R-22, at bellsouth.net. You can also call me. My number is 772-581-2746. Okay. And you mentioned that you wrote another book, correct? Yes. Um, this is my other book that is called Closer to the Sun, um, a recipe book for health for the next evolutionary phase of mankind. It talks about um, 20 years of research that I've done with the lack of an immune system, um, discovering what foods worked best in our contaminated world that we now live in. So this is um, 33 chapters on what has happened to the food supply and how it has changed. And then I have the 45 herbal formulas I use and also 200 recipes in the back for people who then say, well then what can I eat? Because that's where we're at in, in today's world. Indeed we are. Well, all of these things are obviously working for you because you're a 
beautiful, wonderful human being, and you've helped a lot of people along the way, correct? Um, yes, yeah. I'm trying to lead by example. That's the way That's to right. do it. That's right, a real life herbal superhero, a master herbalist, if you will. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Susan. It's okay. been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. There is a growing American phenomena, creating your own health care system. More and more people are exercising, taking care in what they eat and the products they use, monitoring their thoughts and emotions, cultivating healthier relationships with each other, and trying to laugh and have more fun out of life. Looking for something new for strengthening the body, enhancing and lifting the spirits? Join us at the Cloudwalker Place. Ultimately, we recreate ourselves. The Cloudwalker Place, 703 17th Street, Vero Beach, Florida. 32960 or www.thecloudwalker.com or call 772-217-2887. Don't be alarmed. We didn't use our magic to change Susan Kiefer into a <laughs> different person. We just brought on our good friend Lori Long. How are you? That's good to see you, Chris. Thanks for having me today. It's wonderful to have you. You are a personal trainer and lifestyle educator. Explain to us what uh, that is exactly. Well, a lifestyle educator looks at the whole person, as where the trainer just looks pretty much at their form and their muscle. And in order to have any success with your health, you have to look at the whole person. You know, how, how much stress do they have in their life? Are they eating proper nutrition? Are they getting that balance of enough sleep? Um, how kind of family life do they have? So looking at the whole person and get that balance is so important so that we're successful, not just in their nutrition, but in the whole person. All right, and how does the way you live and that lifestyle affect your overall health, uh, just in general? Oh boy, that's a, that's a big nut. <laughs> well, <laughs> stress is our number one uh, medical reason people end up at the doctors to begin with, because that mm -hmm. affects the whole body. And it's easy to get caught up in such a 24-7 world. We're texting, we're tweeting, we're doing all these things all the time. Our expectations are overloaded, and oftentimes our health is the last thing until finally we're just at an overload. So getting a lifestyle educator involved in your life will help get some balance and give them the time slot that they need and to teach them how to shop and get good nutrition for themselves and their family. So it's like a life coach for your health. Yeah, it's a life coach yeah. also, but also we get you in the gym and we get you moving. So we find the fitness that is adaptable to you, whether you like tennis or swimming or you don't like to exercise at all. There's always something okay. we can do to get your body moving. All right, and then it, there seems to be this uh, tendency where people feel like their health and things aren't in their control. Like we're being told uh, every day what to eat and uh, mm -hmm. what types of exercise and things we should do. How much control does a person have over their health and their future? Well, that's a great question. 80% of what we do and what we choose every day is in our control, which seems like pretty easy, but it's hard to get, where do I start? How do, where am I out of balance? Sometimes people don't even know as they're shoving in this and that, and they're eating on the run, mm -hmm. their digestion is already overloaded, and they say, well, I ate good yesterday. So it's really important to get that balance and learn the person, you know, and trust the person that you're with. And we look at the whole person and we create a plan for them just to get started because sometimes it's just one simple change right. just by adding a little more water into your day can make all the difference in the world you know your fatigue level you know I'm tired I just need a soda and well really you just need some water and okay. they might not even know that so we show them these little easy tips it's not rocket science it's just we get so busy we don't realize the simple things in life or just need to be realigned okay all right now here's the burning question now. <laughs> And people walk in the newsstands and they look on the cover of these magazines and they see these pretty girls on mm -hmm. there. Does skinny mean healthy? No. Skinny fat is one of our largest problems in this country because people will starve themselves to have that image. And inside their body, there's a lot of plaque and really poor lean mass. So this body composition is the part of your lean mass, which is your live metabolic tissue, your muscles, your organs, your blood everything that's live and metabolic and that's what gives us energy and that gives us good health if you starve yourself and you don't have a good nutrition foundation then your body becomes eating its own mass and then you become actually skinny fat and you fatigue easily and you're creating a havoc for all kinds of diseases heart disease is still our number one killer in this country and women especially so it's not a good way and these skinny girls are not healthy so I do testing for body composition with a bioimpedance machine, and we can determine where somebody is. Instead of the scale, we're going to look at your body composition and your waist-to-hip ratio, which is a better marker for good health. 
Okay, I heard you uh, You mentioned the heart disease. Um, a lot of times I think people think these are things that either come out of nowhere or once you're diagnosed, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, what can we do to prevent these diseases? Well, disease is 80% in our control. It's what we eat, what we drink, how much we're sleeping, how much activity do we have, how are we going to control our stress. And as I said before, stress is still our number one factor in all diseases. So it makes all the glands work so much harder and then we don't rest and then we don't sleep and the next day we can't deal with stress because we're tired. And if you put uh, poor nutrition on top of that, then you're really compounding a big mess. So working with a lifestyle educator is going to definitely help you sort these things out, how to get started, start with a good foundation of some body movement, doesn't have to be running to the gym, you know, doing a PX90 or a CrossFit, which is <laughs> pretty not in most people's category, right. but just maybe start walking the beach Take John's class, with the cloud walk, the walk, cloud walker class is like phenomenal place to get started on stress control. It's tremendous, and that's what we have to deal with. We've got to look at the stress first, and then let all the other layers fall into place. Okay, and you know I like to get a, a little personal from uh, time <laughs> to time. Were there certain lifestyle changes that you had, or a certain factor that uh, hit you in life that? Uh, they caused you to go this route and uh, start educating other people in lifestyle? Oh, absolutely. My uh, parents were all, and grandparents on both sides, were stricken with cancer as a young child. And I just said, wow, you know, I guess I'm just doomed. It's not a matter of if, it's when am I going to get this disease? So I started studying and researching and found time and time again that if you had a healthy lifestyle and good nutrition, that your immune system was strong enough in most cases to fight lifestyle. I moved from Long Island, New York. I moved my family down here when my children were five and nine in search of endless summer and more, you know, sunshine and outdoor activities. So lifestyle, I moved us to start over. And I have to say, I'm 60 and not good. I've been, you know, disease free, just eat all natural foods, raise my own food and do the best I can. That is so inspiring. That's so inspiring. The last um, question I kind of want to ask, there are, are alternatives to the types of medicine and methods that people are using. Are these things, are these things replacements, or, or would you say that uh, they kind of work together uh, in ways? Such as, what do you uh, mean? Just like, Over as the counter? just popping my pill or going to the, to the uh, doc and telling fix me up versus uh, you know, some of the other uh, methods well, you mentioned. I really believe that you need to take control of your health. And over the counter pharmaceuticals are there when you need them, but if you really get your body healing, it takes time and it takes effort, but you can prevent and reverse disease with a good, healthy lifestyle. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. All right. Modern science has yeah. its place, right. but I think we all need to do our part in doing a little better job and taking care of ourselves and not relying on the doctor. You know, we can do a much better job. Excellent. So where can we find you? Where can we find lifestyle educators <laughs> like yourself? You can find me at 772-538-4179, and you can text me or call me and we can set up a time and we can have a free console and see where we can go from there. All right, thank you okay. so much. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. There is a growing American phenomena, creating your own health care system. More and more people are exercising, taking care in what they eat and the products they use, monitoring their thoughts and emotions, cultivating healthier relationships with each other, and trying to laugh and have more fun out of life. Looking for something new for strengthening the body, enhancing and lifting the spirits? Join us at the Cloudwalker Place. Ultimately, we recreate ourselves. The Cloudwalker Place, 703 17th Street, Vero Beach, Florida. 32960 or www.thecloudwalker.com or call 772-217-2887. Now I'm back with my Kung Fu jacket and I'm going to show you a few exercises associated with nutrition since that's our theme for today. And nutrition, you want to deal with the digestive system. So I'm going to give you a couple things to get you flowing right all right so one of the first things very 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 simple tapping all right tapping stimulates the organs located here both intestines it sends a nice vibration in there that helps get things moving and as a matter of fact depending on which direction you tap you can have, you have different effects for instance 
when you're tapping clockwise like I'm doing right now, it's good for constipation. All right? And if I go back the other direction, it's the exact opposite. It's good for diarrhea. So just a little bit of tapping. You don't have to do it for long, just a minute or two. Not too hard. Just comfort level. Your vibration. Okay? All right? Next exercise. We're just going to sway here. Palms go back and sway. Now, surprisingly, not only is this good for digestion, but it's good for arthritis. So anywhere between 20, 100, heck, go nuts. You can do 300 if you want to, but a bunch of these a day, it'll help pull arthritis out of the fingers, puts a good stretch on the ligaments. Lots of applications here. So you just swing, bending the knees slightly, relax. Remember, all of this is comfort level. You don't have to do too much. In fact, you want to be able to relax while you're doing any of these exercises because it's that relaxation that allows your body to heal. All right. All right so enough of that. All right. Next exercise. Toss the ball. I'm going to inhale here. And like I'm tossing the ball with my hand, making sure I'm twisting at the abdomen. It massages the spleen, the kidneys, both intestines. Just tossing. I'm taking both arms, inhaling here, exhaling here. And remember, just, just play it by ear. You can do six reps, eight, whatever feels good to you, depending on what you need. Okay? All right, the next one is called Swimming Dragon. We're going to take the hand inhaling here spreading the fingers and then we're going to drag it across the tummy your hands going to be about an inch away from your tummy because the energetic feel of your hand it stimulates your organs it combs through that field so you know there's nothing that you have to really be physically contacted with You're just dragging it across here slowly all right inhaling as the hand comes around and exhaling as we drag across. All right. Swimming dragon. All right. And last but certainly not least, well, maybe second to last, who's keeping count? Let's pull up the heavens. We're going to inhale here and exhale down. And this exercise here is good for one really big thing, relaxation. As I said before, most of the body's healing is done during the time when we're most relaxed, which is when we're sleeping. So you wanna do this nice, slow, relaxing exercise. It gives the digestive system that clearing that it needs, that relaxation that it needs in order to correct itself and balance. Once again, no specific number, whatever feels good to you. Inhaling up and exhaling down. All right, and one more we're gonna do, embracing the belt root. In Chinese medicine, the belt root is located here. Feeds everything, a lot of uh, important benefits to stimulate in this particular area. And as it relates to digestion, of course, it soothes the intestines and soothes the internal organs located here. So we're just going to place the hands here on the kidneys. All right. Inhaling. And then we're stepping forward with the left foot. Exhaling. Just tracing the hands across, embracing yourself here. All right. And just sliding them back as we step back. Once again, exhaling here. And inhaling back. Smell the air in through the nose. And exhale a soft sound. Relaxing, soothing sound. Just dragging those hands across. Step. All right. So yeah, combine these exercises with everything you learned here today with our guests, and you'll be well on your way to good nutrition. The Art of Nourishing Your Life. Yang Shen with Chris Wynn. 
brought to you by the Cloudwalker Foundation because everyone deserves to learn how to heal. Won't you join us at the Cloudwalker Place, 703 17th Street, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960 or www.thecloudwalker.com or call 772-217-2887.